Hey gang, so here's a fun drill with the power click. So you can see that it's actually being worn on the inside of my forearm right here. Typically we wear it on the outside, but what's cool about this is when the the clicky part is kind of hanging down on the palm of my lead hand, in my case my left hand, so you can imagine the clicky part is down in the palm, which kind of makes you do something cool. It makes you bend your lead wrist back a little bit out of dress. So, so many golfers have kind of a lazy lead hand. They don't have that little bit of bend back that's really critical to, to separate and understand the difference between address and impact. So on the right screen here, as I kind of drag you through, you'll notice there's a difference between where my hands are at address, yellow, and then where they go to at impact. Okay, so there's a little flatter and they're fractionally ahead. In the look of this, you know, there's a flatter condition. It started yellow and I delivered it to red, and I'm not trying to necessarily deliver it there. A lot of that has to do with the fact that the weight of the club is catching up, and that's that lagging sensation where we collect the golf ball with a stronger loft than where we start. Helps us have a lot of positive ball strikes and enjoy a lot of things. But here's something kind of cool. So if we go on the left screen and we look at this. So as I take it back and go from address P1 through P2, this gizmo it hasn't clicked yet. It's still kind of flat. I can feel it there. And on the transition, you'll start to see where my body and the weight of the club it gives me a feedback. I'll move in here and you'll see it when I zoom in some. There we go. Get that a bit more centered. Sorry, the screen's bopping around. But watch right now. You can see it as clear as day. It's flat. There's some stress on it here. Here's the gizmo. So now in transition, oh, there's that little click. So there's tactile feel of that click and auditory. My ear, I can hear that all day long. Okay? So you get the benefits of a feel how that basically bends down. It doesn't have to be extreme, like DJ obviously is way more extreme than that, but what we would see with most golfers that struggle is the opposite of this. We would see some probably daylight happening there as some you know, lead wrist was kind of going into a cuppy position. So it's a great way to use your power click. It does so going back live here in the academy, so there's the power click. It's kind of in the palm of my left hand. So if we put our left hand on weak, it's in the way. If we put our left hand on, or lead hand on, bent back and, you know, tour style neutral, address hand location versus impact, and you can kind of hear it click as I go to impact, it helps students kind of get a bent back lead hand, which is very uncomfortable for newbies because they can't believe the left hand goes on like this. But we need that room for some flow and some whip to happen. So you want that sensation. So it helps a couple fold. One, it gets your helps you get your lead hand on gently and bent back, you know, with a quote two knuckle grip, okay, for most good players. And then in transition I feel like I'm not gonna go DJ early. Some players I teach them to do that. But as we take it back Here's like a, I want the w club's mass working behind me. So there's more of a bent back lead wrist. My rotation brings it into the golf ball, nice strong impact location. And then it's going to unclick as I go into my finish. So some insights, if you own a power click, put it on backwards. Put it on your lead hand, help you with your grip, and give you that feeling that we're looking for in transition. Hit really good shots.